days, and it's time for one of my favorite segments, the Night Sky Guy. And joining us on the line is everybody's favorite astronomer, Andrew Fazekas. How are you, Andrew? Hi, Emily. Nice to talk to you. It's been so long since we've had sure. a chat. It sure has. <laughs> now, I've been hearing rumor, a little whisper, that the space shuttle, well, it's all cleaned and snazzy and ready to go. It's supposed to take off tonight at 11.59. You think it's going to happen? Well, you know, looking at the weather conditions right now, uh, they, they are calling for a 60% chance that it may be suitable for flight. So, uh, you know, there may be some thunderstorms rolling in, and they've noticed that there's lightning just offshore. So they're always keeping an eye on that, especially in, in fueling up the space shuttle, not just the launch. They have to watch those lightning bolts. Right, yeah, they'd rather be uh, safe than sorry, that's for sure. Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed, and you can keep us updated uh, as the week goes on as to now what's going on. Now, in terms of what's going on in the sky for the weekend, what can you tell us? Well, you know, uh, I don't know what your sign is, uh, but Scorpio. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. You're Virgo. Well, this one's a sign. If there's any Scorpios out there, they might be really interested in this because the scorpion is, is basically creeping up the sky mm. over the course of the next month. Late summer is really the perfect time to catch sight of this giant scorpion uh, in the sky. It's basically you can find it hugging the southern horizon late in the evenings. It's also known as the fish hook. It looks like a giant hook, sort of. The bottom of the hook is kind of underneath the, the horizon here in Canada, but you can see there's a giant hook configuration. It's very distinctive. And, that, and then marking the eye of the beast is the red giant star Antares. It's, this is this beautiful uh, orange jewel in the sky. You can't miss it. It's, it's the brightest star in the southern sky at this time of the year. And the name, actually, Antares, means rival of Mars. And that's because for the ancient Romans, it looked a lot like the red planet. And so they associated it with it. So they called it the rival of Mars, Antares. Hmm. And it's 600 light years away. And it's a whopping giant of a star. It shines 10,000 times bigger, uh, brighter than our own sun. And it's 800 times bigger. It's a real monster uh, of, a, of a sun. And it's really a cool place in the sky. There's a lot of deep sky treasures you can see in this constellation. Uh, there's uh, all kinds of clusters, star clusters, that you can see just with a pair of binoculars. And I've marked off on this chart that you can see here some of these clusters of stars. And we're mm -hmm. talking, you know, hundreds of stars all, all sort of huddled together. And they make a beautiful sight in binoculars. And they're located like the one on the left, butterfly cluster, is like something like we're talking uh, 2,000 light years away. Wow. And then you've got the cat's eye cluster on the right-hand side, just near Antares with a binocular. It's very easy to find. That one, get this, is 7,500 oh. light years away. <laughs> And it's accumulation of 10,000 stars. And wow. all of that is for the taking if you just go outside on any clear night. Wow, that's amazing. So if it's going to be clear in your region over the weekend, make sure you definitely uh, get out and, and check that out. Now, in terms of space news, Andrew, I've heard uh, that rover tracks have been sighted. Yeah, this, I think, is such a cool story. NASA is, uh, has, has this really neat orbiter called the Mars Orbiter, and it's just uh, taking snapshots of the surface of Mars, and they've just released this cool picture that shows the rim of a giant crater. It's called the Victoria Crater, and it shows the steep walls, there, and, and, then uh, uh, and then you can see these tiny wheel tracks. Those are rover tracks left by, behind by the Opportunity rover back in September uh, and, uh, 2005 to August 2007. So over a two-year period, it was rolling around on the side of this giant crater. And you can see it from the orbit, those little tracks left behind by the rover. This is like a, a kitchen table-sized uh, little buggy that was, that, <laughs> that's still roving around there. And you can see the remnants all the way from 800 kilometers uh, above the surface of Mars. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. That's yeah, and that's what you can see. It's a huge, you know, I mean, it's uh, about five football fields wide, this crater. And uh, you can see the extent of this crater. And it was mapped out by the rover uh, over the course of two years. And, and uh, this is something that, you know, they're using to really help in the, for the next rover sort of map out Mars even in a better way for the next mission that's coming up in a couple of years. Well, thank you so much. As always, the information is wonderful that we get from Andrew Fazekas. If you want any more information on the Night Sky Guy, all you have to do is go to the website. It's www.thenightskyguy.com. Stay tuned. We've got lots more coming up.